I think we need you on, on the marketing team. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get into this game here. Of course, it's Beast Coast Safari Zone starting out with Urshifu and Indeed. Interesting. Oh, man. Are we doing some follow me? Just putting in some damage here. Um, I'm worried about Arcanine. Uh, Husini. 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 <laughs> the genie. Husini Arcanine is going to be scared of getting hit by some uh, water moves here. So uh, he goes down to an... Uh, oh, wait. It's actually a dark Urshifu. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, that's bad. a dark Urshifu right there. So actually strike. it's going to be weak to a close combat or just a straight wicked blow into Flutterman. Right. It does look like we're a little flipped around, but we will get there. It looks like uh, this, I don't know, the, these leads are, are interesting. Having set the uh, Psychic Surge there, uh, it's it, making it so that, you know, extreme speed is not going to be a thing. Oh, yeah, they are flip side, but we can kind of figure it out here. Joe is the one with, uh, I'm assuming, the... Indeedy and Urshifu. Uh, um, I think? I don't think he has Indeedy on his team. Excuse so. me. Yes, Tom is the one with Indeedy and Urshifu. Yep. Joe is the one with Fluttermane. So there we're in the po point of view of Joe right now. Hitting a Moonblast straight in the Urshifu. It's gone off the board. Instantly gone. Probably it's taking the bet of just not uh, getting a follow me, just targeting it correctly anyway. So Exactly. Joe going for that initial the rock trick set, the room trick room comes hits. up, tries to get the flinch, but no. I mean, the whole thing, you do not want your trick room opponent getting off trick room. So it kind of, I mean, even though he lost to Urshifu, uh, Tommy's looking pretty happy that he got his trick room up. So let's and see what let, he does with it. Let the Psy spam begin. Now that you Ooh. have Indeedee and Armor Rouge out on the field with the Psychic Terrain down, expanding force is... Potentially going to be in full effect. However, you do have that dark type Urshifu down now. So yeah, here Joe's we go. already vouching to bring in uh, tri Cresselia and Trick Room, whether it be to reverse Trick Room or to be on the better side of the speed. But this, if this expanding force is coming out, and it's still going to hurt these mods. It looks like he's even switching in Yuri Shifu as well. Um, I'm pretty sure. That's right. Here this comes. is a dark one. Yep. 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 So he's going to. What? He's going to hit Trick Room again? What? Do it? The trick room. Double it? What a gamer. Whoa. Calls the switch, gets Trick Room up for another extra turn. So he's still kind of set up. I mean, but now he's got to worry about Cress reversing the Trick Room again. So he's kind of got to make a read here. That's right. Of course, as the overlays are switching around, this is... Uh, we're keeping up just as much as you are, folks, and I hope that you're uh, able to keep up with us here. Armor is going for the heat wave. Press is going to avoid this, but Urshifu does take that damage. Oh, oh that burn, burn is huge. Not a burn. No, no. Uh oh. Hitting it with that dazzling gleam, okay. taking out the Urshifu. We're not going to see any uh, any problems there. Is this worth reversing the Trick Room here? So let's see it. Trick Room is off again. There so it is. we're set to normal room now. So we going to see what he's going to have to do some flinching here. He brings back out Arcanine, and he's going to just probably do some good rock damage. I think um, Tom does have Wide Guard, so he's going to have to. See if wide guard's a good read here, that is or correct. gonna have to just single target just to play it safe. Yes, so now we I have received confirmation that everything is correct. Welcome to the stream, folks. We are right here with you. All right, we've got Arcanine and Cress on the field. Uh, going for you know, it could really be anyone's game at this point. grandmother so waving grandma don't we miss the didn't we talk about this we, we missed did. the approving dad mode and now we got supplemented with the waving grandmother i don't think i don't think they supplemented correctly correct we do have terrestrialization going up on the armor going into grass terra uh that might be a nice move by tom considering we've got that hasui and arcanine on the field any kind of rock slides, that's not super effective. Oh anymore. man, I think so. Yeah, he doesn't need a wide guard here. He's just going for some damage. Rock slide dodged by the armor. Nice. So no flinch happening. It looks like I think an expanding force is coming out and it's going to do some damage. The Indeedee is going to go down to the Cresselia's ice beam. You think the Cress is going to live? Is uh -huh. Cress staying up here? I We're about to find out. Here's the expanding Help force. Again. Help again. expanding No, oh, it's no a <laughs> bulky boy. It's a bulky boy, so. That's one bulky boy. 
So we got the loss of Ndidi with the loss of the Urshifu. We're going to see Tom's fourth Mon here. Flutter comes back on the field. And what does Tommy have for us? The Hatterene. Okay. I mean, we need some Trick Room here. That's um, exactly. It is important to note that we are not in Trick Room, as Tom would uh, like in this kind of a situation with Flutterman on the field. So we'll see if that Hatterene can go and set that up or if that Armourer can go and set that up. Mm, uh, the Crest is really good. I think this is kind of Joe's counter of how he works with Trick Room. He mm. either leads with Crest or kind of saves in the back. He does need to deal with this. It does take the Expanding Force so well. So, I mean, he could take a lot of those hits and it looked like a three-hit KO kind of without a Lunar Blessing. That's right. Terra Fairy going off on the Flutterman, going for the Moon Blast, opting to go for the single target. We got Tom nodding correctly, thinking that he, oh, he's kind of looks a little surprised at the damage. Special attack drop as well. That is huge. And I think we get the KO. No! That's we very hold close. on. Expanding Force comes out again. I think Flutter is staying on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Flutter With that special is, attack drop. Flutterman doesn't have a ton of HP, but its special defense is huge. Its defense, however, not so much as the Psy Shock goes and takes it out. Oh, man. Uh, Tommy's looking okay here. We got just a crest. Not really outputting too much damage. We got Psy Shocks coming out. But the, the terrain, gone. the weirdness is gone. The weirdness is never gone. <laughs> the bro. weirdness is never gone. Exactly. <laughs> Not with me around, all right? <laughs> Vesali going for the Ice Beam is going to be able to take out the Armor Rouge. However, might this be too little too late as we're now... We've got Har uh, Hatterene versus Cresselia. It's a little bit of a... I think Hatterene... I don't think it needs a set trick. No, it's just sitting in Dazzling Gleam here. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's pretty good. And it is Life Orb, so it does hit hard. I mm -hmm. don't think this Ice Beam will be enough. Unless we get a crit freeze, like some oh, good see that freeze. plot armor. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Tommy taking this... Did you just call set? that plot armor? Oh, I, I mean, love that. Come on. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very consistent thing with some of these pro players. They just see through the hacks and... Uh, Absolutely. Prosper. Well, at that point, that's called playing to your outs. Ah, right? Is that what we call it? If you know that your ice beam can freeze, you go for the ice beam because it can freeze. Yes. That would have been, that would have been nice to see, though. But even if it did freeze, uh, it was it was looking pretty tough. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Right. But that was a solid game one. At this point now, Joe knows what to expect from Tom. He feels the, the, the nastiness mm. that is... Uh, that is losing your Urshi. He, I told you, he did not look forward to playing the uh, Armored DD uh, expanding size spam, whatever you want to call That's it. Right. And because it, this they, that that combo actually did pretty well in a grassroots tournament. It took second place, and I think it breathed a lot of life into those Absolutely. players. They're like, it was an open team sheet tournament, so people are like. It's, it's not close team sheet, guys. It was open team sheet, and it still won. It's got a place. And yeah. they just never give up, man. They never give up. Never give up. And, I mean, this is a thing since, you know, Sword and Shield even. That, that Trick Room has just been snowballing and snowballing and getting more and more popular. And now we're at the point where hard Trick Room is even more of a thing. We're seeing tons of Trick Room coverage. People who run it to stop Trick Room. People who run it to enable their Pokemon. They just need to let go. That's just right. <laughs> let's let go. You know, like me, you know, I might I might stop playing Dozo one day, but you know I don't think you will. <laughs> I truly, truly do not think you will. Uh -oh. As we go into game two uh, between Joe UX9 and Tom Hayden. Same leads from Tom. Tom feeling good. Uh, Joe brings the Ursh out right at the get-go. They love this Wicked Blow damage. I'm sure they're both Terra Dark. They just love it. And then the Helping Hand Terra Dark. Oh my gosh, it's just too much damage. Absolutely. Again, the Psychic Surge dropping the Hisuian Arcanine. Not able to use Extreme Speed because of that. Interesting. Tommy's Urshifu has Choice Scarf, yes. so he's going to be able to outspeed, I think, most everyone. And uh, the Husini Arcanine is not going to be able to do extreme speed. <laughs> the Husini Arcanine. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the Urshifu on Joe's side is running with a Focus Sash, so it is going to need a couple, a couple more attacks to take that thing down. But it is important to note that... Oh, here we go. That's a Terra. Oh, Tom thinking. Tom looking like he had to make a read here. Indeed, Terra. Okay. Indeed. Dragon? Oh, it's a dragon. I'm, I should have looked at the sheet. That, I'm a little surprised here. Interesting. Amazing. 
for Shifu going for the U-turn on her. Shifu, that is going to break oh. the focus sash. Okay, he's trying to get the Trick Room up. Trick Room is definitely going, and we know Joe is probably might even trying to double the Ndidi, maybe with a Wicked Blow and the Rock Slide. What else does... Well, that the... Ndidi does pose a huge threat to his Boom. game. Ndidi taking that critical hit from the Wicked Blow. The Rock Here Slide the rock. on the Ndidi. It lives! Again. Does oh. it flinch? It doesn't. It flinch. doesn't. Get, oh, flinch yet again. Freaking Tommy with the fist pump. Trick room coming up two games in a row on turn one, and now the Ursaluna's burn is procked with the flame orb, and Ursaluna looking to do some damage. This is a wonderful position for Tom. Absolutely. Now that the Ursaluna is burned, it can just go for its massive guts attack. Man, get these trick room teams out of here. I'm done. <laughs> I've, I've, I can't watch this. It's just too much trick room for me to watch. Well, I'm interested to see how Joe is going to handle this now because Urshifu, again, with the focus hash uh, broken, is kind of at a disadvantage if that indeed decides to go for any kind of Dazzling Gleam, which it does have. Mm, yeah, there's uh, no reason to helping hand facade or something like that. I think we might just see a facade Dazzling Gleam here. Joe looks oh, surprised. Nice. Joe, or no, Tom looks surprised and happy. Oh, did he call this double switch? I love having the face cam on for Tom because you can really I tell that that <laughs> those expression. emotions are surging. Here we yeah. go. Headlong rush. No. Oh, that's huge. That's going to one hit the, uh, the Iron Hands for wow, sure. We the got defense and special Dang. defense drop from that, though. Iron Hands is out of here. Tommy, chill. Tommy, chill. Indeed, he going for the Dazzling Gleam. Not would have taken much. out the Urshifu, but 26 now. 26 damage. Just going to do a full 20. You do quick math. 26 damage on that Cresselia. Cress is probably the bulkiest Mon that Joe has. Of course it is, but it just, it, I, mean, I don't know him. I was thinking maybe he was going to lead that this game, but mm. he, he, I think he wanted to put more pressure on the Ndidi. Arcanine coming out with the Intimidate. Going to bring the That's Ursaluna's uh, attack stat down a That's little. That's really bit. the trick to playing against Ursaluna. Just kind of spamming some Intimidates Absolutely. and kind of lowering the damage a little bit for some guaranteed KOs that might not happen anymore. The Terra Fairy going Ooh. on the Hisuian Arcanine. That's huge against the uh, Ursaluna, which normally would have been uh, quite effective on it. But Yeah, we're going to might see a Terra Blast here to get rid of this Ndidi. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Headlong rush into that, too, with the Helping Hand. Even with Terrastalization, that Helping Hand is just too powerful Tom on is just Tom looks like he's already calling it a dub. Chill, Tom. The Come on. math could not have mathed harder for that Ursula. <laughs> Even though it was a minus one in attack, Okay. that Helping Hand really, really boosted that. Joe was able to reverse the Trick Room. We are at normal speed now, but at what cost? We have lost his Arcanine. We have lost his Iron hands we just have his critical hitting or his shifu whose sash is already broken and a crest so that's right it, he has managed to keep the Urshifu alive, which I will give him that that's amazing and he needed that against a lot of the psychic presence on this team. But the cost of keeping that Urshifu alive just was too great in this game. But let's see if he can pull it out. Alright, here we go. Wicked Blow going right into the NDD. Let's get rid of it right away. And he went Ice Beam on Ursaluna. I don't think that's going to KO. I just right. think... I, that's why I love Calm Mind on Crest. Give it some more damage, but Absolutely. it barely outputs much damage. It's not enough to KO. I think we're going to KO on the, on the Crest. It's no, that, I don't no. know. I think we go for the Earth Shifu on that turn. Why Can not? Was he calling... At this he, point, though, the... Ursaluna is minus one. All right, there is the chance that it doesn't. Actually I think KO. I think Tom was reading to protect there, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe. But now we won't be able to get any protects off here, could because we have a choice scar Urshifu yep. on Tommy's side, so he's going to be able to outspeed his Urshifu and be able to probably get rid of this. Ooh, he's going to leave Crest. He's just going to choose to get rid of the opposing Urshifu, and now I think. Crest is going to try and KO the Ursaluna, but Absolutely. that wicked blow next turn is going to be It's going to hurt. Game ending. Certainly. Now, this was an interesting, interesting match, just because we could see the different kinds of breadth that the Urshifus had. Uh, you know, you've got your choice scar of the Urshifus to, to go first. You've got your focus sash Urshifus. Of course, the armor is just going to come out just to add salt to this whole oh, year. Oh, man. Uh, I, I wanted to see uh, Tommy's fourth one. It looks like he did have armor rouge in the back. Yeah. And it looks like he's probably just going to either armor cannon or expanding force and take it out. Yeah. 
really important to know that, that Tom in this match had such value from that in DD. So far into uh, Scarlet and Violet's life cycle, we're still seeing in DD putting in that much value. That helping hand, oh yeah, you can look at the helping hand's damage output and see just exactly how much damage that Ndidi caused. But we are, all right, and we're gonna head on over to that. Emerging right, from the jungle. Going. Oh, oh there you are, oh, you just oh coded in. Oh, oh my gosh, you're here. Yeah, Bro. we are ready. Were you they chill said, on wow. going behind the couch as a microphone. <laughs> Were you chill on the <laughs> trick room already? No, never. No. <laughs> no, I need to learn something else. If I actually want to get better as a player, I need to learn something else, because trick room just simplifies the game. And I recommend trick room for any new player trying to get into the game, trying no, to get better. No, don't be spreading yes, spray yes, your yes, propaganda, yes, yes, no, no. Oh, no, it just simplifies it. It takes out the minute oh. details of Tailwind, Icy Wind drops and stuff. Are you a dark okay. type? Can I expanding force you? That's Are, all you need to you know. Called? Am I slower? No? Oh my god, why not? <laughs> and then it's just figure out why not. Now, and then go from there. Tell What's up, me Mike? why that simplifies the game. Because once you get Trick Room up, yeah. I your Iron Bundle has yes. so many EVs or IVs or whatever it's called in speed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have that speed investment. I have that in bulk. I have that in attack. I have that in effect. Like, effective base stat total for Trick Room mods is so much better. Okay. So that in Trick Room, when I get, like, if you can't deny me Trick Room, it's just like I have the effective base stat total lead on you most of the time. Sure. Like, Torkoal, look at 30 uh, speed base stat. It's just so, the effective base stats of it is so much better. Armorage, I wish it was slower. I'm, thank God it's not slower, oh guys, for real. God. Oh my God, Tommy. I was using room service in San Diego. So I, this goes back to San Diego. My, they broke my mind. And DD yeah. Armorage broke my brain. I can't team build without them now. It's amazing. Stop it's amazing. Where's the, the camera, there? Spro yeah, it's right there. Stop oh spreading God. the propaganda. I don't want new players to hear this, you know, it blasphemy. Simplifies it. All right. Okay, I don't want you to go and ruin the rest of your game for all the other people later on. I don't but care about that. what are you nervous for for the rest of this tournament? Yeah, good point. Um, so, Booster Speed Flutter is one of them. And okay. I just saw that on stream. And it came, and I was able to get around it, you know? Got it. I loved so, your choice, Garsh Ursh, how you kind of, you turn out, yeah. that's how you bring in, and if they reverse the Trick Room, you have something in the back that's going to do some damage at the end. So, I used four Trick Room setters at NAIC, and I brought four Trick Room setters to World. And I went against that for Pittsburgh. I ended up bringing Lilligan as my fast mode. And right. then I saw this team uh, beat my friend Luke Bauer at the MSS. He right. got second place. This team got first piloted by Nick Donnelly. And that's when I was like, wait, what is going on with the Urshifu scarf and the Ursaluna? I started talking to him next to it. Then shout out VGC Jesse. Jesse Romolo was going to bring it to this event. Couldn't make it and today. And he couldn't the, make it today. So I that. have to win for him. And <laughs> yeah. I, I'm using his a version of his team. I made my tweaks. I used my Armorage spread. I used my Hatterene spread. I went Terra Dragon and DD because I love it into that everything but Flutter. I, that was really I cool. love it because it just takes the fire moves, the electric moves, the uh, grass, the water. It takes so many different types well I'm glad you and I know that, what I have to I like ask that. yeah I have to play around the flutter main duh I always have to play around flutter main <laughs> so it's like okay I already got that built into the rest of the team well how's it feel beating the man Joe UX9 Joe is like the homie homie like Joe has helped me get better so when I first started playing I asked Joe to coach me and it's just like, yeah, it's just like the, he's he, the student has become yeah, your like master. I did like, oh, I did like circle, two man. coaching <laughs> sessions with Joe after the high roller league because yeah. uh, I saw him doing well in there. And it's just like, I, I can't say enough good things about Joe. Oh, absolutely. I could sit here and talk about how great Joe is for the community and how Joe, know, like many nice things Joe has done for me. Like yeah. uh, we got tacos in Puerto Rico. Just hanging out and being a friend is like awesome too. And I told yeah. him there, I was like, thank you for being a homie for real. You know? Can I just say that's what I think is really cool about Pokemon as an esport in yes. general is just all the friends you make at tournaments like these, all yes. of the, the friends you make over the course of what, what happens outside of the matches. Yes. It's huge. I love you, yeah. Tom. I love you more than you know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Shout out my podcast, the Chilling Nate podcast with Conkle Donk and Sableye. Why not? Oh my God, because I, well, I already did if you guys didn't want me to. I was going to say, <laughs> Thank you. I was going to say, uh, ask for forgiveness, not for permission on that one. Yeah. But go listen. It's been so much fun doing that with them too. <laughs> and like, yeah, no, thank you for having me on on the winner's interview. Uh, 
hopefully the next guest is shorter. But <laughs> <laughs> we love you, buddy. Shorter hey. in height, so we don't have to adjust you know, this. All the, all the, all well, look, I see. Yeah. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> hopefully the next guest time. is shorter. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So, yeah, Good luck on your next him. rounds, man. You got oh, this. I love you guys. Wonderful you to see you do well. Love you. Love honor. you. Catch you later. And there we have it, Thomas The Hayden. beautiful man, the, what what, beautiful the legend man. himself. So mm. taking down another legend. So, But uh, yeah, I think uh, right now we're at the end of round three. They're going to all take a quick lunch break. And I think that'll do us for now. We're going to take a little break. Absolutely. We'll see you in round four. Peace.